This is a very interesting question. You see that you have everything in roots, which means the first thing that might have come into your mind is rationalization. But because they are both fractions and they are reciprocal fractions, here is the best way you can approach. First of all, because all the numbers are same, correct? 5 root 3, 3 root 5, everything is the same. You do one thing that is just find out the square of the two values you have. Square of 5 is 25 and root 3 squared gives you 3. So 3 times 25, the answer is 75. Similarly, 3 root 5 is the next number, so square it. 3 squared is 9 times 5 is 40. Now, if you look at this question carefully, the first thing that you should be doing when you see two fractions is you make the denominator common. So here the two denominators are the sum and the difference. So when you have the sum and the difference, the product of that is simply the, the difference of the squares, which means at the bottom what you'll be doing is just you have a minus b and a plus b which is to take the difference of the squares because I have found the squares already I'll take the difference at the bottom okay now what happens at the top you clearly see because of the new denominator being the product of the two existing denominator I am supposed to multiply both the numerators by the opposite denominator so when I multiply this with this one it becomes a plus b the whole square this whole squared and this again it gets whole squared now when you have two things getting whole square and added up in one bracket while in the other bracket you have that you have the same thing getting subtracted then what do you do is you can think about their expansion a plus b the whole square and a minus b the whole square you will end up getting the same terms a square b square in both the cases and one of the common term is going to get cancelled out that is the 2ab and minus 2a and if you follow that carefully you will get a square twice and b square twice therefore I'm saying that here what am I gonna do is I'm gonna take the square of them individually which is 75 and 45 their square has to be taken twice because I'm gonna get two times each of these squares okay now this is the quickest way you actually approach a question and hence you can find your answer in no time 75 plus 45 is 120 and at the bottom what you have is just 30 so 30 into 4 is 120 4 into 2 answer is 8 that's it